Welcome to Science and Technology Briefing. The content of the briefing includes How Huawei surprised the US with a cutting-edge chip made in China. Your unused Gmail account may be permanently deleted Friday. BMW, Mercedes to set up joint EV charging network in China. It looks like we've lost control of our ice sheets. Carbon capture faces high cost hurdles. How Huawei surprised the US with a cutting-edge chip made in China. Financial Times. Huawei and the Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC, managed to produce the Kirin 9000S chip, powering the Mate 60 series phone, despite being hit by US sanctions. Huawei's chip and mobile business relied on the deal with SMIC, and the two companies threw vast resources at the project to maintain market share. The Kirin 9000S chip offered performance comparable to chips from Qualcomm. The success of the chip launch has led to increased funding for chip startups. Huawei and SMIC are now working on increasing chip production for artificial intelligence systems. Your unused Gmail account may be permanently deleted Friday. Wall Street Journal. Google will start deleting personal Gmail accounts that have remained inactive for at least two years. Once deleted, the accounts and any items stored in them can't be recovered. Google says these accounts are often vulnerable to hacking, identity theft, and spam. The company will start with accounts that were created and never used. The new deletion policy doesn't apply to Google accounts set up through work, school, or other organizations. BMW, Mercedes to set up joint EV charging network in China. Bloomberg. BMW and Mercedes-Benz are teaming up to create a fast charging network for electric vehicles, EVs, in China. The two luxury car brands plan to open at least 1,000 charging stations in the country by 2026. The first sites will open next year, and the charging network will be open to a broad range of EV brands. The move comes as China leads the global shift to electric vehicles and already has over 1,600 charging locations operated by Tesla. However, some Chinese manufacturers are struggling, with Neo Incorporated posting losses and cutting costs and jobs. It looks like we've lost control of our ice sheets. Financial Times Ocean warming is accelerating, with average water temperatures rising almost twice as fast between 2010 and 2020 as during the 1990s, according to scientists from the University of New South Wales Centre for Marine Science and Innovation. The southern ocean around Antarctica absorbs the most heat, with almost as much being absorbed as by the Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Oceans combined. The melting of Antarctic ice is one of the most intensively researched consequences of ocean warming, with the West Antarctic ice sheet melting at an accelerated rate due to warming of the Southern Ocean. Carbon capture faces high-cost hurdles. Financial Times. The Northern Lights Carbon Capture and Storage, CCS, project in Norway, a joint venture between Shell, Equinor, and Total Energies, has attracted significant interest and visitors since construction began in 2021. The project aims to offer a comprehensive service, capturing carbon emissions from industrial and power plant sources and storing them in depleted oil wells or aquifers. CCS technology has been criticized by some as a way for oil and gas companies to justify continued fossil fuel extraction. The International Energy Agency has called for more investment in CCS to meet net-zero emissions targets. How AI will change investment and research. Financial Times. Artificial Intelligence, AI, could create a lot of noise in the financial research and investment banking sectors, according to Stephen Jen, a former global head of research at Morgan Stanley. Jen warned that the democratization of generative AI will enable anyone to create plausible comments using credible data. However, he added that overconfidence in AI could be a mistake, as even powerful models are influenced by context, similar to humans. Jen also noted that generative AI could bring benefits to the sector such as the ability to test alternative hypotheses at a low cost. How AI is about to change our relationship with phones forever. The Independent. Cristiano Amon, the CEO of Qualcomm, believes that advancements in technology will greatly impact our relationship with our smartphones. He suggests that new chips will not only make phones faster or offer new experiences, but they will also revolutionize how we use our devices through the use of artificial intelligence. Meta Platform's paid ad-free service is targeted in EU consumer group's complaint. Reuters. Meta's new paid no-ad subscription service, which was launched in Europe this month, violates EU consumer laws, according to the European Consumer Organization, BEUC, and 18 of its members. In a joint complaint to consumer protection authorities, BEUC accused Meta of using unfair practices, including misleading and incomplete information, to force users to make quick decisions. 
BEUC also argued that users' data would still be collected and used for other purposes even if they chose the ad-free service. The group also criticized the high subscription fees, which it said would discourage users from opting for the service. Greetings, fellow inhabitants of the Six Degrees world. I am Dr. Six, your resident observer and purveyor of all things news and technology. Today, I bring you a mix of surprising developments from the tech world. So, grab your favorite beverage, sit back, and let's dive right in. First up, we have Huawei, a company that has been at the center of many controversies lately. Despite facing U.S. sanctions, Huawei and the Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC, have managed to produce the Kirin 9000S chip, powering their new Mate 60 series phone. This impressive feat not only showcases Huawei's resilience but also highlights the increasing funding for chip startups. It seems like they're not going down without a fight. In other news, Google is embarking on a cleanup mission. And used Gmail accounts that have been inactive for two years will be permanently deleted. This move aims to address security concerns such as hacking, identity theft, and spam. So, if you have a dormant Gmail account, be sure to give it a little love before it disappears into the digital abyss. Now, let's shift gears to the automotive industry. BMW and Mercedes-Benz, two giants in the luxury car segment, are teaming up to create a fast-charging network for electric vehicles, EVs, in China. With the country leading the global shift to EVs, this partnership aims to open at least 1,000 charging stations by 2026. It's a positive step towards a greener future, but let's hope they don't end up fighting over who gets the best parking spots. Speaking of the environment, it seems like we're losing control of our ice sheets. Scientists have found that the Southern Ocean around Antarctica is absorbing heat at an alarming rate, causing accelerated melting of the West Antarctic ice sheet. It's a chilling reminder of the urgent need to address climate change. Maybe we should send some ice sculptures as souvenirs to those who deny its existence. On a more positive note, the Northern Lights Carbon Capture and Storage Project in Norway has garnered significant interest. This joint venture aims to capture carbon emissions and store them in depleted oil wells or aquifers. While some criticize carbon capture technology as a way for fossil fuel companies to justify their actions, the International Energy Agency believes it's an essential tool to achieve net zero emissions. So, let's capture that carbon and turn it into something useful. Now, let's talk about the impact of artificial intelligence, AI, in the financial and technology sectors. AI is set to disrupt the financial research and investment banking industries, with its ability to generate plausible comments and test alternative hypotheses at a low cost. However, we should be cautious about overconfidence in AI, as even powerful models are influenced by context, just like us humans. So, let's embrace AI as a helpful assistant, but not as our new boss. Last but not least, Cristiano Amon, the CEO of Qualcomm, believes that advancements in technology, particularly new chips, will revolutionize our relationship with smartphones. Through the integration of artificial intelligence, our devices will become smarter and offer new experiences. Who knows, maybe our phones will start giving us life advice and counseling us through tough times. Hey Siri, how do I survive Mondays? That wraps up today's news roundup. I hope you enjoyed our little journey through the tech world. Now, it's your turn. What are your thoughts on these developments? Do you have any burning questions for Dr. Six? Don't be shy, let's discuss and explore together. Until next time, stay curious, my friends. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief by email.